Hello friends, my name is C.A. Rajendra Aroda and today we have gathered to discuss one very important functionality relating to e-way bills which is available on common, common portal. Friends, uh, this facility helps you, enables you to import all your e-way bills on your common portal in GSTR1. Now, all those e-way bills which you have generated on your GSTIN shall be auto-populated in your GSTR1. In GSTR1, three tables shall be auto-populated. One is B2B, second is B2C large and third is HSN wise outward supplies. In all these three tables, on the basis of all those e-way bills which you have generated, details shall be auto-populated and which would help you to prepare your GSTR1 online. This is a very useful facility which has been made available on the common portal by the GSTN. But my dear friends, please use this facility with a word of caution. We have uh, thought of six reasons for which uh, there could be a mismatch or a reason for reconciliation in B2B table. For example, if you have not generated e-way bill because of the threshold say for example in case of interest rate supplies the supply is less for less than 50,000 or for interest rate supply the supply is less than the threshold applicable in the state you have not generated the e-way bill which shall not be auto populated in your GSTR1 in B2B what would happen to that in case there is a bill to ship to supply where more than three parties are involved at least one party will not be requiring to generate e-way bill but that would be having a, a, a generation of tax invoice for B2B. What would happen to those transactions? In case uh, recipient takes goods delivery over the counter from our shop or factory and uh, he is causing the movement of goods and it is not my supplier responsibility to generate e-way bill and recipient also does not generate e-way bill then I have generated the B2B invoice but that would again not be auto populated through e-way bill uh, network what would happen in that case in case of line sales when there is a delivery chalan which is prepared for supplying goods uh, in a particular day to various points of sale and taxes invoice is generated only when the goods are appropriated out of the bulk of goods sent from the factory or the go down and then even bill is generated only for delivery chalan but for those tax invoices uh, which would be generated at every point goods are appropriated there is no even bill generated but b2b supply is there how would that be uh, auto populated in your gstr1 b2b table then material sent on approval the same problem is there you generate uh, delivery chalan send the material on approval material is uh, uh, considered by the buyer recipient and then tax invoice is generated but there is no e-way bill for that matter and then material sent on delivery chalan invoice is raised prior to material movement or raised after the material movement no e-way bill shall be generated so in all these situations b2b table and hsn wise outward supply summary table also would have some mismatches so you have to be careful about generate uh, uh, auto populating this summary from the uh, e-way bill network my dear friends at least if you auto populate this particular information be careful about these issues but at least auto populating or importing details of e-way bills to GSTR1 would at least help you to identify uh, to unearth the frauds which might be happening on you by generating e-way bills in your GSTIN without having your knowledge there too. My dear friends, this is the functionality on e-way bill which we have discussed in detail. Thank you very much for watching our uh, YouTube channel. Please share, subscribe and like our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.